able to give yourself as much energy to do that training session. So my name is Amanda McCready and I'm the sports performance dietitian here at Penrith Panthers. It's definitely more than being the food police, which that's what people see me as. So yeah, I do a range of different things, whether it's, you know, organising their supplements and ordering supplements in, doing their catering, seeing players one-on-one -on -one to do some individual meal plans, doing skin fold and body composition goals with the players and making sure the players are fueled for training sessions. Like most sports nutrition, you have to get the basics right. Um, and that's what I try and do here with the education with the young boys, is definitely get those basics right. And once you've got the basics, then we can really drill into the sports nutrition. For the normal Australian, you need around between 8,000 and say 10,000 kilojoules per day for your average active Australian. Uh, for an NRL player, you're looking probably at around 13 to 16,000, depending on you know what position they are, how much energy they're expending, and those types of things. So it's definitely, you're looking at a high energy intake that they need to do. What that generally means is, is they need to be eating consistently and constantly. So we're in our players' kitchen this morning, so this is sort of where all our players will come in the mornings to try and grab you know, a quick bite to eat before they go into training. So we always have some fruit. We have two smoothie stations here, so we uh, have our blenders, we have uh, our batch-tested protein powder, we have a range of cereals. Uh, we also have some fresh bread and some wraps. You know, one of their favourites is definitely avocado on toast. Before they go into training sessions, they do like to sit and have a chat and catch up. Breakfast is definitely the most important meal of the day. They need to put that fuel in the tank so that they're going to be able to go out there and train as hard as they can. In terms of supplements, this is our little area here. Everything is batch tested, so everything is above board. Generally, our players will get some multivitamins in the morning, so we have some fish oils for anti-inflammatory. We do some probiotics just for our gut health to make sure that all our players are you know, following good gut health hygiene. Um, and then we've got a multivitamin as well, just in case some of our players are missing out on a few nutrients, hopefully not. The high intensity, especially in pre-season, is full on. So you definitely want to make sure that you are giving everything possible so that they're not getting sick. And then we also have our oat shakers, which has got our protein in there. So the players will also receive that after a weight session. Depending on where they are or what their body composition goals are, we have two different types of protein. Food is such a social part of all of our lives. So, you know, it is something that you're going to be using as a life skill. And I think if you can be taught it in your work environment, then what better way? You know, people just think there's so, that food comes from a packet. So to take them back to square one, you know, it can be quite daunting for them. Um, and quite difficult for me to sort of break that barrier between the boys that cooking actually is not that hard. Like if you can learn to do three or four simple meals, then you know what, then you can build on that. Okay, that's enough now. <laughs> Just running our first cooking class for the pre-season of 2020. On the menu today was a sweet potato shepherd's pie. We had a lamb, chilli and mint stir fry. We had a chicken, spinach and pasta bake. No, no. <laughs> oh, spit. There was a lot of chaos there. I think I had onions on my fingers, I just wiped my eyes. Might need a couple of them to come back, but all in all, I think they did pretty well. I learned a lot off Amanda. Um, it's a big help having her around us. Just the little things about cooking healthier instead of eating takeaway. Add garlic first. Yeah, so I'm trying to H came down and to the three the three dishes that we all made, and um, he liked me and Chris the best. Woo. Hey, this is gold medal. Hey. <laughs> On my own, it's kind of something I have to take into consideration, like get my skin folds down. You know, doing these kind of stuff will help me, you know, kind of reach that goal. So another big part of my job here at Panthers is to organise the catering for the players. So they generally will get three catered lunches a week, depending on their training session. So I do all the catering menus and I uh, send it over to the leagues club. This time of the season, it's generally just trying to get as much nutrition in as possible. When you're doing high intensity training, sometimes the players struggle to eat. So what we try and do here at lunchtime is making sure that they're ticking all their macros and even their micros as well. These boys are really, really well fed. The chefs over there at the leagues club do an awesome job. And anything that's left over from the lunches, we generally put in to packs um, and they're put in a, into the player's kitchen, into the fridge and they get to take them home. On a normal week, uh, the players will go through uh, 12 kilos of broccoli, uh, 8 kilos of carrots, 
uh, about 10 kilos of beans. Uh, protein wise, we deliver about 80 kilos of protein per week, which includes steaks, salmon, chicken, and lamb. The morning, it takes about a couple of hours to put everything together. Ingredients that go into the salad has been char grilled, sorted, and roasted corn. Uh, which is going to go with the halloumi is the main ingredient in there now. We're going to dice them up. So a handful of fresh rocket leaves, already char grilled. A nice fresh avocados goes on top of it. And we're going to add the corn on top of it. So that's the salad done. Now I'm going to cook the tandoori chicken fillets. I'm going to give it a color and then I'll finish this off in the oven. So this is only sealed, so the meat is still raw inside. So I put it in the oven for about 12 more minutes at 180 degrees and then they are ready to eat. Chicken's ready. So I'm going to do a garnish. Put the garnish on top like that. This is, this is the writer which is going on top of the chicken. Uh, the food is ready and uh, it will be taken across to the academy now. See you guys later. Nutrition is definitely not black and white, it's very grey. Everybody has their own opinion on what, what's right and what works for them. So I do my utmost to educate and you know show the boys what to eat and how to eat well. Broccoli, carrot and salad. I don't really know what's in it, but gotta eat the greens. <laughs> it's the best, we're so lucky here. Um, yeah, get all our food made for us and it's, and it's really nice food as well. So. Do you um, get into the take home packs? I try to, but they usually get stolen out of the fridge, so you got to put like Ivan's name on it or something so the boys don't touch it. <laughs> well, what we did out in the field would be a waste of time if it wasn't for how you refuel, so it's so important. And I think some of what some of the young boys still have to learn. If you're going to go out there and eat Maccas and KFC, then you're just not going to have the strength, you're not going to have the stamina, you're not going to have the fuel in your tank to be able to perform out there. Having skin folds really does give me a really good snapshot of how the players are a, coping with the intense training, how they're fueling their body, um, and then we look at their body composition goals, whether or not, yes, okay, you might need to you know, gain some weight, we want to put some muscle on, but making sure that we're putting the right type of weight on. You know, there is a lot of pressure put on the players to get to a certain uh, skin fold, especially in pre-season, because obviously, you know, they leave at the end of season, they're told to go and have a bit of a break, but they're also sort of threatened with coming back, and if they're, you know, put on a little bit too much weight, then they have to do extra training for it. So. I think when they come back and you know they do start to see some drops in their weight and in drops in their skin folds then yeah of course you're really happy for them and then yeah on the flip side you also feel for them if their skin folds aren't dropping or they do go up what it <laughs> That gives me a real good opportunity to sit and talk with them and to say, you know, has anything changed in your diet? Are you eating out a little bit more? Um, are you not being consistent enough over the weekend? These days, all those other little things that used to be a one percenter can be now five or ten percent. So to see a player come in here and completely change the way that they eat and see their performance match that, yeah, that's the biggest thrill that I that I get.